This morning, we're talking to one of the cast members of the smash hit Yellow Jackets. The Showtime series is about a group of extremely talented high school girls soccer players who survive a plane crash in a remote and wilderness part of Canada. Each episode discloses more about what they lived through back then and when it happened and how they coped afterwards. Yeah, so this morning we have a look at this week's episode. Here's a sneak peek. Whatever you saw up there, why you're not talking to us, to me, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But please, just tell me where you were, Javi. <laughs> All right, here to talk more about this much talked about show, actor Kevin Alves. Hey, Kevin. Hey. How we doing? Hey, thank you so much for having me. Yes, yeah, this, so this show uh, turned out to be wildly popular, kind of right out of the gate, right? Um, so, how far, I guess, into the first season did you realize, okay, we have a hit on our hands? Okay, well, after we finished shooting, you're kind of making a show that is so risky that you're going, is this even going to work? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it's it, with the two timelines and just so much happening in the show, it, it felt really scary going into it. And it was probably when the reviews started to come in. Yeah. And you start to see your peers really enjoying the show. And I think that's just like the biggest compliment. Right. I think that's when we were feeling like, <sighs> okay, this is doing, this is going to, this is going to go a lot better than, yeah, yeah. Yeah. than, you know, we were fearing in many ways. And so, yeah. And I think it's just when people started to, kind of come up to us and tell us that like the show resonates with mm -hmm. them like I think that's where you really start to feel good yeah. about the work that you're doing because you want it to affect as many people as possible right. I mean right. what, what would you call your fans then I mean you you have like the beehive yeah for be Beyonce what would you guys be <laughs> believers I mean what what else yeah they still call themselves the hive <laughs> the they're hive. just the hive yeah. Okay. yeah and so you know uh, you can call them the yellow jackets because that's like the team mm -hmm. that we that we have but but I think the the name they've gone with is the hive okay that's pretty so cool. for those who may not have seen it right and they don't really know what we're talking about the two timelines kind of set the scene and the table for us on what exactly is playing out here yeah so in 1996 a plane crash happens with the soccer team I'm the coach's son so I'm also with them as the one of the survivors and so we kind of see at the same time what's happening to them right after the crash and mm -hmm. how they survived 19 months in the wilderness without being rescued, Okay. what they do to survive. And then we also see 25 years in the future and the repercussions that the survivors are going through yeah. simply because they didn't talk to anyone about what really happened right. for 25 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah okay. that, that's a little difficult though, right? I mean, for you to, well, at least you know you survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, job security, job security. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but seriously, like to, to play, you, you, first of all, again, talk, talk about your character and what a role he plays in this whole series. Yeah, character, Travis in general, he's a very antagonist character. Mm -hmm. He's he's a 17-year-old kid in 1996 who has no real relationship with his father now, and so he doesn't really make the best decisions at times, mm -hmm. and you can definitely feel his toxic masculinity coming mm -hmm. through, and just in general, he's, he's having a hard time connecting with people yeah. after the crash, but you know, he's also trying to pretend that he's a father because his little brother's there. And so yeah. right. there's this dynamic that he has with um, all of the girls that survived that okay. isn't quite the nicest. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's talk survivor skills. You're in the wilderness for that long, right? In real life, what kind of survivor skills do you have? Are you like a, a wilderness outdoorsy kind of guy? I'm like more of an athletic guy. So okay. what was cool is in episode two, season one, I got to climb a 40 foot tree. Whoa. And so that was a lot of fun. I had to convince the stunt coordinator that I could do it. I was <laughs> like, yeah. they let me do 10 feet, then 15. <laughs> okay. And, and, but I got to do the whole thing. And wow. so that was, yeah, I didn't get have to use my double for any of it, which was exciting. Well, you are an athlete, though. Yes. I mean, you used to be a figure skater, yeah. which I think a lot of people didn't know. Yeah, no, I got to compete internationally for 10 years, and it was just a really cool time in my life to learn and experience the world in different places through skating and yeah it was i'm really fortunate to have done it for so long awesome skate right. much now not really <laughs> honestly i think after you do it six days a week six hours a day oh, wow. you yeah. kind of you're like all right i want to do some other stuff so i yeah. golf now oh, oh excuse me yeah, i love okay. golfing I like real golf or like mini golf no, real golf. Real? Real golf. <laughs> no, I have an addiction. Like, I'll be doing it forever. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hopefully okay. oh, acting, too. Yeah, yeah. There forever. you are on the golf course. Look at oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, nice form. I love that's good. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Because I'm on the mini golf course. The entire <laughs> mini golf course. <laughs> about as far as I will go. That or, or uh, top golf. Ever top play? golf's fun. Right. Well, congrats on the success Thank of the show. Thank you so much. Glad Thank to have you on this morning. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Kev. All right, nice uh, nice to see you. And we're at Yellow Jackets, by the way, streaming today and available on demand. On Sunday, you can watch it live on Showtime. Be sure to check it out. It's a great show.